Hi, my name is Anne, and I am a senior manager for a real estate company. We were previously using Slack, and then we switched to Teams. For more reviews like this, click below. Both products help with teamwork and brainstorming, sharing ideas, and they allow you to talk to just one person or to work with as many people as you need. So it really helps with communication and brainstorming. Microsoft Teams is best for communicating one-on-one -on -one or with a preset group. It also is really helpful because it allows you to start a chat off of a phone call. So once you've had a call, you can turn that call into a group and continue the conversation through Teams. Slack definitely has some additional features that Teams does not have that we miss. It offers a remind function, so if people are sharing something and you don't have time to address it at the moment, you can set almost an alarm clock reminder. It also has the taco channel, which was great for us from a team camaraderie standpoint. Slack was a bit more of a learning curve, I think, for the group because we had never used a program like Slack before. We had never had a chat function where you could have more than one person in a group, and we had never really experienced the um, Teams component of a chat service like that. Microsoft Teams, I think, was much easier adoption-wise, but it did take some time for everyone to get used to the calling function and using it for conference calls. The top consideration for us, obviously, was cost. We are a relatively large company, so the ability to um, share with everyone in, on the team was really important. And as a company that still uses the Microsoft suite of tools, Microsoft Teams was naturally a better or a more um, inclusive fit with the other things that we used. But we found both tools to be extremely helpful for our day-to-day -day team building.